It is the Xenos souls that <laughs> suffer, not the subjects of the Emperor. Oh, okay, that makes it fine. I have no sympathy for the well-being of dead Eldar, and neither should you. Let's discuss something else. All right. You've scarcely left the Liberus since you arrived. And where precisely would you prefer I reside? My own ship? It is far too cramped to effectively conduct my research. So you surround yourself with books. Steel and Bolt alone can only delay the arch enemy's advance. Do you read, Commander? Anything other than the hymnals of obedience, that is. I was just studying a treatise on the Nemesis Doctrine. You should broaden your horizons, Commander. Uh, typical of an Astartes to focus on the chapter's legacies. You should broaden, broaden your horizons, Commander. Consider Inquisitor Lord Morcus's treatise on Nurgle, the infectious diabolic. Uh, it contains insights particularly relevant to our collective works here. Let's discuss something else. All right. How do you assess our progress? The war against the Bloom goes well. As expected, considering you are a brother of the Grey Knights, I have worked with Astartes before, and you have proven to be as ruthless and efficient as any I have witnessed. Let us hope this continues. Right. Enough for now. The bloom festers. I need two more Using servitors. The equation, I have already analyzed all possible outcomes of this exchange. Don't let him find out what the Dark Eldar do. I have. I have. There was a... I, I posted a meme on Twitter when I was, I was watching a two-hour video on, like, the basics of all the races in Warhammer 40k. And I was like, you know, me learning 40k lore. And then it was, like, me learning about Dark Eldar. <laughs> like, pretty much the face I made. They're horrifying. Uh, this creation of the Inquisitor. There are many of the priesthood who would see it destroyed. A profanity without doubt. There are many of the priesthood who would see it destroyed, yet there are others such as Archmagos Cole who would likely confiscate it for further study. The Adeptus Mechanicus has little unity of doctrine. We must simultaneously better ourselves to the quest for knowledge while holding fast to the Omnissiah's creed. The fractiousness has some purpose. We must simultaneously better ourselves through the quest for knowledge while holding fast to the Omnissiah's creed. The two impulses cannot always be reconciled within a simple priest. For myself, I'm glad to focus on the needs of the ed edict and leave the liturgical squabbles to my brethren on Mars. Box exchange parameters. Our window for communication has concluded. The halo of your Aegis is strong. Are you ready? You disapprove of the Inquisitor's artifact. I despise it. It is a profane thing made with Xenos and traitorous elements. Do we not ourselves use Tesseract Labyrinths? We fight the preternatural and must be armed as such. Indeed, we have a sacred duty to purge, da purge Daemon kind. We fight the preternatural and must be armed as such. The Ordo Malleus also makes use of such unconventional tools. They succumb too easily to corruption. They are human, often unaugmented, and without the benefits of Titan's rigorous training. They succumb too easily to corruption. Unlike Grey Knights, as you know, we are uncorruptible. Of course. Commander. Really? Hector, you tend to the brothers' spiritual needs. The Knights look to me for guidance to keep their souls as pure as possible. The purifiers are an order apart even in the lonely halls of Titan. I hold the rank of Knight of the Flame, standing above my fellow brothers. The knights look to me for guidance to keep their souls as pure as possible. Is that not a chaplain's purview? The edict has not always carried a chaplain on board, so the role has fallen to me. I know the 666 verses of contempt well enough. You should join- 666 verses of contempt! You should join his commander at the next Canticle of Absolution. Of course, come on. Oh, uh, let's talk about something else. I'm trying to dodge getting dragged off to church. What do you think of my recent performance? Under your guidance, it is a proud day to be a Grey Knight. Worthy of Grandmasters Janus and Drago, you think tactically and strategically, using your brothers to achieve our goals. Under your guidance, it is a proud day to be a Grey Knight. I envy our brothers. All right. We got to buy time until we get two more servitors. Wait, wh oh no, I was not watching the Death Guard ship. Alert. Let's just make everything worse. Launching from the enemy vessel. Torpedoes? Negative. Analysis patterns reveal satellite deployment. Box transmissions detected. What are they casting? Commander, this could be the Dark Tongue. Order your crew to put on their helmets and... Update. Multiple crew stations unresponsive. It's a distraction. The enemy ship's maneuvering to attack.
Oh my god. Attempt to retreat, the Grandmaster will be pissed. Deploy a librarian, the librarian will be at risk. That's my best troop. Fire on the Vox casters, the ship will be at great risk. Or open fire, the ship will be at risk. Open fire! Opening fire. Minus one servant. I need servitors! Minus one hull integrity. We're a one. Minus one servitor, plus two requisitions. Okay, honestly, losing one servitor out of that is probably the least bad it could have been. And we got another enemy ship off the map. Blood sp Bloom Swan detected. I need servitors, man. That one gives servitors to use do mission without grenades. This one does servitor. No, it doesn't do servitors. Melee weapons, seed carriers, but there's a ship in the way. This one does Grim Wars. Extract seven seeds. What? All right, there's ships in the way, and my ship's at one durability. I think we got to go for this one. Pause. Oh man, warp drive or the healing? I think the healing room. Intervention required. What do you want? One of our brothers has been called to join the paladins. He will require time off ship to complete his training. What? Have you taken leave of your senses. All of your knights are One of our brothers has been called to join the paladins. This is an important rite of passage for our brother. A paladin could prove useful, even if we must do without him for some time. Commander, who was it? Knight Which knight? His valor. Why not direct him to fight the bloom instead? Oh, it's Birdtree! Birdtree has been called to join the Paladins. Oh, boy. Um, let him do it. We must not stand in the way of destiny. Such a waste. All, wait, what? All knights plus one maximum willpower. All nights. High morale for 20 days. Bird Tree is now on assignment. That's pretty cool. I mean, I gotta fight without him now, but that's pretty neat. Too bad they don't know I study the heresy necromancy. They'll find out, I assure you. <laughs> I promise you they'll find out. Okay. Eliminate all seed carriers. Extract seven seeds uh all right hold on save game First time using a warding staff. So this warding staff, this is actually pretty neat. Uh, there's a 50% chance whenever he ends his turn that it acts as if he used his Aegis ability, which, you know, gives him a bunch of armor. Just for free. Uh, let me see. Abilities. So, okay, you guys are telling me about that one litany. All right, each knight's Aegis Shield gives one armor when activated. That's not it. Uh, litany of Power. Each knight gives plus one crit damage. Litany of Hate. When executing a target, gain one additional AP. Now, isn't executing only when you get a crit in melee when they are low health? Like, that's a lot of conditions. I don't think the game considers an execute to just be a kill. 
I'm killing a stun. So, okay, that's even more condition. I want to get this Rosarius thing. All right, anyway. Um, dude, three of the people in Terminator armor are currently gone right now because, uh, what was it? Birdtree had one set. Alright, so we got Twix. Twix is amazing. We got Beansy. Tiger is wounded, but he's got 15 max health. He can still come and heal for us. Um, I could bring this, the new librarian or one of the grenade guys. Is it wrong that I'm eating a Twix right now? I'm sure Twix would love you for it. Right, Let me take a look at this guy. Oh wait, didn't I downgrade all my weapons recently because of that one mission I was doing? Hold on a second. Loadout, ranged weapon, storm bolter. I did. Okay, hold on. So, Chaplain. Frag, Sacred Incense. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. This guy, Derek's Bolter, Blade of the Force Sworn, Frag Grenade. That's fine. We'll deal with him in a second. Uh, range Weapon, Storm Bolter. Um, okay. I want to confirm, because this is the new Librarian. So he has Smite, he has the Unlimited Range Trait, he has Vortex, and he has the plus damage. Those are the things I like most about this fella. Um, he has a lot less willpower than the other guy, though. Alright. Who, we, we gotta, we gotta name this Librarian, chat. This is a new fella. We gotta name him. Bob. <laughs> Dialani. Dialani. I saw Dialani first. Name it Librarian. Oh, wow. Never write a book. Alright, so the goal of this mission is to extract like seven seeds. And so I'm going to bring the extractor skull in case we need it. We'll bring the healer. I'm really hoping that the uh, th this guy does okay because his max health is reduced right now. All right, I think we're good. Just to be safe, gonna back out of there. We're gonna save. Librarians are, awesome. Librarians are probably my favorite troop right now. All right, I think we're good.
Judging by the title, are you enjoying this? Yes. I hate librarians. I always tell people to be quiet. <laughs> With great force and gusto. Did you get... Uh, did those weapons go to level one again? Did the weapons go to level one? What? 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 Analysis. Seeding location identified as site of recent Astra Militarum defeat. All this ripe biomass provides a perfect spawning ground for the bloom. We must and Tyranids. Here. But we're not talking about that, are we? Alright. Purple enemy. Blue to the east. Red to the north. Yellow in the middle. Oh, wow. Alright. Um, and we gotta watch for seeds. We'll get some seeds, we'll get at least four seeds just from fighting enemies, but we have to keep on the lookout for the pods that we can open. Tyranids are not part of the Green Knight's job description. Yeah, well, I mean, I just know enough about them that I know that they like to eat biomass and then move on with their life. Just num 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 num. That was a quick enemy turn. Don't see any enemy seeds yet. That's an explosive. Someone told me recently that Warhammer 40k apparently originally had... You know, because, like, the, the Eldar are kind of like elves. And then, oh, God. Apparently, Warhammer 40k had something similar to, like, Space Dwarves, and those are getting added back into the game or something. Uh, uh, God dang it. Hellbrood. I do not have an armor break. How are we gonna do this? Alright, hang on a second. Enraged Rush, Power Scourge Wrap, Bull Rush, Plasma Cannon, Charge Shot, Cover Shot, Immunity to Afflictions, Self Destruct One Turn After Dying, Power Scourge. five damage. I'm considering teleporting everyone on top of him and trying to cut him down really fast and then running from the explosion. Which is, of course, if I teleport on top of him and don't kill him in one move, that's when it gets scary. Oh, I don't have Gate of Infinity. Yes, All right, so seven, that will leave eight. I am here to serve. Is there anything better that, to do than just swinging? I wonder if we can stun him.
Oh, I don't have a four strike for the chainsaw. Hold on. Does that do more damage? Oh, it looks like the gun does more damage. Bleeding for five turns. Alright, I'm getting pretty confident I can kill him this turn, but I'm trying to do it in a way where I s spend the least willpower possible. Yeah, no turn for you. Okay, now we run. Uh, Triplex says, yo man, I got a ch chalk egg sack. I want to sell it in, uh, over Overflow Trading Company. The list is a partner in casual. I have no clue where they viable save. Um, yes. So, essentially, really quickly, Overflow, the way they work, because in Guild Wars 2, it's a great game. It doesn't have a trade window. You know, you can mail things to people, but, you know, it, it, there's a risk involved. So, Overflow, they'll be like, hey, uh, Billy Bob wants to buy your item. Um, he's done 32 trades with other people and never screwed anybody over. Like, you build a reputation there, and the person who's got the stronger reputation is the person who does the trade last. So, like, if you go to Overflow and you've never done a trade before, you would send your item first, and then the guy who had done a million trades would send their item second. Um, I have twice sold legendaries there, and I was not screwed over either of those times. Um, so I, I've only done two trades there. Um, I, I know, you know, Guild MM, who, you know, does everything in his power to keep everything working great. And anyone who ever cheats anybody is kicked out of that community. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's as trustworthy a place as I know for, for what you're discussing. All right. We, wait, extract seven seeds. Wait, I why don't I have, I just killed a dude that had a seed. Why didn't it say I extracted one? Did I not get that seed? I'm very confused. All right, so there's a, a yellow seed icon and a blue. And there's a seed thing right there. God, that dude does a lot of armor. What the heck? Yes, Commander. So there's a yellow seed. When I kill him, I should get it, right? Do I not? Do 
Yeah, have I been misunderstanding this whole game so far? Do I have to kill them with a melee hit to get the seed? I might, okay, one, I might need to restart this mission, too. I need to understand what the heck the rules are. Okay, hang on a sec, hang on a second. Um, where was when I saved it right before the big explosion? But I, I meleeed the big monster. The, the first guy that we fought, I meleeed him to death, and we didn't get one. It's a critical melee hit to get a seed, or I guess using the extractor skull. Okay, shoot, I could have been getting so more... Dude, I'm on day 425, and I'm just now realizing I wasn't getting seeds all the times I killed those guys. I thought I was every time. Okay, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. Let me go to right before we just started the mission and change the, um, the loadout. Wasn't last damage with a bolt weapon for the big guy, was it? Alright, Dialani has an extractor skull, and... We'll give Twix an extractor skull too. And that way we don't have to even worry about it. Man, I did not realize this was even. Okay, do you? I, I it actually frustrates me because I'm wondering how many more could I have at this point in the game if I had a clearer understanding of that. I thought it was legit. Just kill a guy with that icon, you got the seed. Mm, what? A new arrival. How far am I in this game? 24 hours. I'm 24 hours in this game and realizing that I I didn't get that. Probably even more if you didn't lose half your storage. That too. Can I skip this? No, I can't. Extractor skull, critical melee hit, and then choose seed option or critical melee kill. All right. So I should be using the extractor skull way more often. Uh, oh, there we go. I was having trouble finding my mouse first. Okay, and over here. Once more into the breach. Glad I realized this very early on in the mission. Warhammer's a great game. Oh, I'm loving this game, and I'm loving this franchise, everything I've seen so far. Um, the only thing is... This game does not explain things well. Most of like if I wasn't a streamer and I was just playing this on my own, I would be so lost. I've had you guys on on uh, in chat and in YouTube comments uh, under my like playthrough videos. I've explained so much to me, and the end result is I'm really enjoying it. But yeah, it's uh it's very just it, it just throws you in there. Yes, 